Come on, that bitch ass. Are you kidding me, game? Wait, which one's better? Geralt of Rivia's Crossbow? Holy, what the fuck? That's way, that's way better. Try to get these dives. Okay. Level 41 I get to make, um, ugh, level 41 I get to make the, uh, or the, uh, upgrade this. It's not upgrading, is it? I hope it's just gonna upgrade. And key, I think it, I think it keeps this stuff on it. I fucking hope it does. I'm gonna be pissed. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go by level right now because clearly there's some high level shit here. I'm gonna do the ones that don't have a level yet, just to figure out what level they are. Oh, that's my home. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go to my home. No place like home. Wait, can I just go here? Nope. Okay. The vineyard. Corvo Bianco. What's up? You've spread some nastiness to me. What? Uh, no, I didn't. The oh, fuck? God, that's way better. I need that upgraded. ASAP. The fuck? Um. Gonna check the saddles because I gotta. What? Did I not sell that? Oh wait a second. <clears throat> yeah, fuck that. What the hell? Ant period here. Wait, saddle. And then this one probably looks better. Put that one on. Uh, okay. Let's see what's going on up here. I'm talking Welcome on... home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding Wait, gentleman. Do I know him? Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. <laughs> oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Sick. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of Ducal Headsman in Beauclair went about his work with an exceptional penchant. Penchant? So he 
he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once, never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, <coughs> misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. God, that'd be the fucking worst. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Monsieur Bolius. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. You say so, bud. <clears throat> Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. You've been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards Ooh. and slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. Let's go, boy -o. Can I run? No, can't run. Cool. All right, let's go check out this this a vineyard that I got going on here. <clears throat> now I shall sink you a song. One, two, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Is this? Mm, I guess it is. God damn. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I a have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the Duke of Flesh. Uh, sir. Not mm. the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. I mean, I guess that's not a terrible thing to know. <clears throat> Here, kitty, kitty. Wow. <laughs> Meow. Uh, okay. Me yeah. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially in spring. Don't look at all bad now either. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest aged in oak barrels it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry wild cherry plum and cinnamon notes oh i got no idea what the fuck he's saying one of these days dude look at that sick ass crossbow with my emblem on it well picturesque yes though it ran dry long ago during the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius spoon for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, 
and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Levioda. Tough. Here, kitty, kitty. Who the fuck are they even talking to? There is. I don't know who the fuck they're even talking to. Monsieur Bolius, his wife Nina, kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Okay, okay. I wonder how much uh, management I'm gonna Madame have to do. Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. I would have said Basil, but... <clears throat> Clearly I didn't listen to his name when he said it. Or I would have known that. Oh, um, mm. oh, there's my horsey. There's my horsey. Even a horse drops if you ride it with a constant gallop. Okay, why did you need to feel the need to tell me that, sir? This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. I think he was trying to give you a hint. <clears throat> I've lots to do before it gets dark. Well, dude, you got like ten hours before that happens. Time wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. <laughs> Thanks, Barnabas oh, Basil. Oh, right, that was this place. It. I forgot, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so heroic. We had to summon a witcher to do their work. <laughs> oh, I feel like that that was an unneeded sarcastic insult, but as you can see the facade is how to put it slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. We want inside. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, it's my house. <laughs> and welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will together devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. Though one must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at uh, your service. What's the definition of small sum? That. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Okay, let's try it. Okay, what do we got? <clears throat> you mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Uh, yo, yeah, well, let's do some work on the house. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Oh my god, 5,000? Sure. It's in your hands then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. 
Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take <coughs> them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold... Okay, good. I got time to make some money. ...rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? How much is... wait. How much is this gonna be? Got these spacious grounds. Hmm, but maybe it's time to make them more... Uh, useful. Oh, yes! We certainly I should. doubt. I'm... The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorer's table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? Um. How much is how much is My this going to be? Needs work from time to time. You oh, know, I got a house. Yeah, I did get a house of a vineyard. A table where I can at do that. that. <clears throat> Rompali once hired a specialist or uh, rather a house with a vineyard tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once I have 800 left sure good order me up a table like that immediately sir I expect it will take at most one day to arrive will you be needing anything else no nope, because I don't have any more money <laughs> I don't have any more That's money right now so <sighs> Remember to have some urgent business to tend to. Not the slightest problem, sir. Yeah, I have a I lot of urgent sir, business I gotta do. Oh, what the? Jeez, what the? That camera. What the fuck was that? Wait, one day for our armor's table. Wait, three days. Okay, so restore whatever to its former glory. Okay, so we just gotta keep coming back when we get enough money for this place. Okay. That'll, that'll be good. Where is this? I mean, sure, yeah. There's no fucking... Uh... Just with your reward. Alright, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go! Wait. Nah, fuck it. We're going. <clears throat> oh, got a bet. The hell? Use. Wait, what? No. Oh. Oh. Wait, why would I put the books here, though? What's this? Hang painting. Huh. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Is this in the middle? Just moved me over a little bit. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we're centered. A little bit more centered now. Um, I get sleep. Let's go do this quest. <clears throat> so literally, all I have to do to restore that place is just get enough gold and go talk to that dude. It's literally all I do. This, you know, walls look better without shit hanging out. <laughs> Bruh. It's Geralt of Rivia's shield. Nothing looks better than that. On the wall. Or, I should, I should, I, I need a painting of Triss. That would make the wall look fabulous. Show me what you and then have a painting of Yennefer with a big fucking red X through it.
That's what I need. Trispis. Whoa, dude. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll let that. Pa I'll let that one pass. I'll let that one slide. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do over here, though. We'll fight some monsters. I mean, I kind of do want to fight monsters. I don't know what this is, though. It's some test. Carol, what the fuck? Are you doing, bruh? Eh, yeah. Nice. Ugh, pull yourself up. Fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, dude. Hey, what's up, I'm my guy? Walking on water. Just like. Like who? Like a pond skater. Who are you thinking? <laughs> no matter. I suppose you thought nothing else in life could surprise you, oh, right? Fuck. Wrong. Hey. Hey, happen to know how the hell I can walk on that water? Naturally, I know. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in solitude on this shore, and I can testify to the extraordinary nature of this the guy count as a monster? What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. A sword. Most wondrous lies in its depths. I watch Jeebus of <laughs> the Jesus of Rivia solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. <laughs> Folk call me a lot of things, but virtuous? I don't know. Yet I do know. For I know who you are. <laughs> do you, bitch? You have proven yourself. Capable of great sympathy. You are a man of honor. As many can attest. Of humble means yourself. You show generosity to others. Your valor is the stuff of legends. To acquire the sword, you must first convince me you are worthy. The inscriptions on the stones describe the five virtues. Valor, honor, Voila. wisdom, Sympathy Wisdom. And generosity. During your time in Tucson, you can prove these virtues dwell in your heart. In this world, there are many in need. They will help you prove your chivalry. R Wait for a chance to prove your wisdom. Humble my ass. His, his armor is. <laughs> I know <laughs> my whole fucking gear set is worth more than uh, most people's houses. Jesus. All right. Wait for a chance. So that did, I wonder if I already did the quest that, do, that does all the other ones. All right, let's read this. No man can be called good who does not share his prosperity with others. Generosity is required for dignity in life and peace in death. Sharing is caring. Valor does not make one good, yet how many good men have you met in your life's journey who were cowards? Those who possess Valor do not hesitate to stand against the majority, no matter what the consequences. Honor cannot be purchased. Honor also cannot be sold, for its value is greater than all the treasure in the world, yet one can lose it, and whoever does so shall have sullied his name for all eternity. A truly honorable man always stands behind his actions, faces every challenge, and refuses to lie. Yeah, I've never lied. Wisdom is a virtue which one should strive to cultivate throughout one's life. For it is impossible to be so wise one cannot become even wiser. The wise know this. As we journey through life, we should seek to make wise choices. Remember, wise choices. Wise, 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 wise. Wise choices are not those which make our lives easier or simpler. Often, they make them more complicated. But always, they make us better. Oh shit, this is deep as fuck. Wait, I read it. What the fuck? Wait, which one did I not read? Honor. Wait, sympathy. There are many traits which bear witness to a man's true nature. Compassion is what separates men from beasts. Whoever feels sympathy for his fellow men, man will never turn a blind eye to misfortune. He will always, he will instead always stand in defense of the wronged. Wrong. 
wrong. Wrong it wrong. Boom! Wait for my chance for my wisdom. Perfect. What am I playing next? Well, I'm playing the uh uh throne breaker uh with the uh, witcher's tale game i'm playing that next but the next series is yes dragon age okay so i got apparently i gotta wait <gasps> attain a basic skeleton deck Fuck. i don't want a skeleton deck i want more cards for my deck Beasts have more sympathy than people. There are a lot of beasts out there that do. <laughs> there are a lot of beasts out there that have way more sympathy than people. Uh oh, way the fuck. Oh shit. Alright, we're gonna go. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go up here and look at this. Maybe go over here, actually. Cause then I got all the fucking Uh yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go up here quick. There can only be one. And all the virtues. More times than not, yes, yes. <laughs> we can't let that... We cannot let that... Get us down. Change our views. Doesn't matter what anybody else does. Matters what you do. Run, Roach. Only you can prevent forest fires. Not, not, not that guy over there. He definitely can. Nobody else. Nobody else but you. Only you can prevent forest fires. What the fuck is this? Vintner's contract. Here you can help a Vintner clear a cave. What the fuck? Uh, okay. <laughs> Slow now. Killing vampires yet? No, I I tried killing a vampire. But then another vampire. Oh wait, no, I did kill Bruxa, yeah. For we're neck deep in trouble of the spider kind. Need a She was naked. Not a witcher. You fail to understand. These are huge. The size of pigs or dogs. Black and See? Spewing webs. Mm -hmm. Not talking about spiders then, talking about arachnomorphs. Call them what you will. You must smash the rogues, will you? Those caves would I mean, isn't that isn't that like how how Thanos kind of thought? <laughs> or no, not Thanos. Well, yes, Thanos, but uh more so Ultron. In order to get peace, no more people. Yo, my pay, let's talk, bitch. First things first. Need to talk about my reward. No forest, no forest fires. Easy as that. That is true. Yo, we're going we're hot we're going high. Not far Fuck. now. We find us. Right, let's try 180. Five. I knew we would agree terms. Ooh, you kids in your cartoons? What the fuck? That's Avenger. Well, I mean, yes, it's in <laughs> the comics, but. Avengers, Age of Ultron. You kids in your cartoons. <laughs> well, I mean, arachnomorphs don't look. Much I like, like being bunnies, a kid, but they sure breed like them. Best nip the problem in the bud. I'll look into it. Mm. What? Wait, what did I just get? What? Oh, level... F okay, 40... Pfft. Why do I feel like that's probably not level 40? It's probably like level 48. So I'm gonna walk in there and just get my cheeks clapped. Eh. Eh. I'm not... Don't... I'm not destroying your vine vineyard... Vineyards, vineyards... Whatever. Your shit. 
What is that buff I have, by the way? Let me in! How the fuck do I get- Okay, here we go. <laughs> Calm down. Okay? It's okay. Alright. I don't care about reading any of this shit. But some of it's the same, and I don't really- I don't want to reread stuff, so... Alright, well, might as well... <sighs> Yay, look at all these question marks. Oh, cool. <laughs> How many do I have right now? 53? Fuck! <gasps> I've not been drinking. It's okay. Our Kamina is the sweetest grape in Bookland. Um. And anyone can tell 